Hello and welcome, my name is Sharvin and in this tutorial I'll be showing you the basics of Windows 8 and how to get started with it. So let's get started with the specifications. I've got HP Pavilion G7 with Intel Core i7, 12 gigs of RAM which I upgraded from 8, and an AMD Radeon HD7670M graphics card. So, as you can see, there is no start menu anymore in Windows 8. The, oh, by the way, this is a Windows 8 Pro with Media Center version, uh, fully licensed. So, let's go back. We have a start menu. There is no start menu anymore. However, we have the Charms menu. As you can see, Windows' target was to have Windows 8 be compatible with tablets. So that's why they refined parts in Windows 8. So for example, here you would be able to just like, you know, like slide around and open applications. So as you can see, we have mail, news, Google Chrome, store, calendar, people, this desktop, by the way, Windows Media Center and uh, that weather photos by the way you can also turn on live tiles for these however i've turned it off now so for example then it'll just show you like um your friends here and uh your birthday your friends birthdays over here and your unread messages and some just it'll just do a random slideshow for photos that you have in your pictures folder here we can just click it and um you know, uh, you can just open Bing. Here we have travel, um, stocks, finance, sorry, uh, sports, games, music, camera, video. If we click, for for example, on camera, then it would just open the application in full screen. But how are you going to get out? So I'll be showing you that in one of the applications. We'll open and uh, I'll just show you around a little bit more on the charms menu. Uh, here we have some HP apps, except these two, I didn't know where else to put them, and these. So here we have some frequent apps, which I just put in there, Office 365, downloaded apps. So as you can see, here are the live tiles, which I was talking about. Uh, th this is the news channel for the Dutch, uh, for the Netherlands. Here I just downloaded a game for fun. Jetpack Joyride, which they have for Windows 8 in the App Store. So, here's a tip. If you would like, um, you can see that I already named the, um, the groups of the apps, right? So, if you would like to do that yourself, just click on this minus button over here. Click it. Then, right-click one of these. For example, we could do Office 365. Right-click it. Name group. Type in your type in what you want to type in, you know, click name, and it'll just say like that. And then if you want to go back, just click on the Windows icon, and you'll be in the back in the desktop. So let's go and open a full application, a full screen application. For example, let's see, maybe we could do how stuff works. So if we click on it, let's see what happens. The logo will pop up, which in that time it's actually loading the application. And you have this full screen application, which you download from Windows 8 App Store. So for example, yeah, this is the How Stuff Works app. And you can just, you know, scroll around, but how are you gonna quit the application? How are you gonna get back? The fastest trick, go right in the top left corner, click it, and you'll be right back. However, another way, just go here. There's no there's no cross button or minimize or the other one. However, you can just click the Windows icon too. However, the application is still running, so what do we do? 
go on the corner where we had the house stuff works app right click close and now the application is not there anymore however it, it does get annoying sometimes if for example you open a PDF on Chrome and it, it'll open another application full screen which is kind of annoying because you want to switch back to your Chrome real fast so for example yeah here's another tip go in the corner right click and you can see these handy features which you don't have to go to to search for it for example we have mobility center device manager command prompt and desktop however how are you going to search an application that you want to open because usually in windows 7 windows vista and the rest of the os's you would just go on the start menu and search but now it's not available so what do we do corner search share start devices and settings in the search future click there and here are all your applications for example if we wanted to search for example the windows store we would search windows store oh wait let's try store sorry about that click enter And here we go. And remember, if we want to exit the application, go right back to the desktop. And if you want, close the application. But, however, we want. To, what if we want to search, for example, the personalization feature in the control panel? Well, if we search personalization, as you can see no apps match your search that is because personalization is not an app that is why we switch to settings and here you go here are all the things you need for example change theme and just click it and you'll be right there it's the same for files which was here so we we also have the share feature which you can use, for example, when you're in um, in Chrome or the Mail app, then just go to Share, and you will be able to share it via the Mail app. And here we have Start. Just click that, and you'll be brought right back to the desktop. Here we have Devices. Um, Devices is actually for the projector. If you connect a projector to the to the computer, then it'll show up. And settings, for example, tiles, help, um, Wi-Fi, volume, brightness, keyboard power, notifications. So for you guys, I've got another trick to show you guys. So. For example, in the start menu, how do you rename an app? For example, this this name is way too long to read it completely. So what do we do? We right click, open file location. We see this, rename the app, and type for example, Turbo Boost Monitor click enter close this get back to start menu and there you go so how do we shut down this computer well we could go anywhere on any application we could go on I don't know, VLC media player, just click it, wait for it to open, just go on the right, right part of the screen in the corner, 
settings, power, and you have four options, sleep, hibernate, shutdown, and restart. It's as simple as that. Once you first log in into Windows 8 and you're on this screen, if you click the Windows key, you won't be going to the desktop. It'll just bring you nowhere. So how do you get back to the desktop? Click this application, this um, tile right there and you'll be at the desktop in no time. From now on, you can always just switch back and switch forth again. So let's say we want to open an application, a full screen application from the Windows 8 App Store, for example, TuneIn Radio. So we're in the TuneIn Radio app and you want to go to another application. Click on the desktop in the left, top left, and for example, go back to the start menu and open another application, for example, um, WinZip. So what if we want to get back to the other application, TuneIn? Remember, top left corner, click it, and you'll be right back. Want to switch back? Click it. As simple as that. Remember, you can also click on Windows, Key, and Tab. And you can see, if you have more applications running at once, you can see the whole list would be here. So as you can see, if we want to switch back to the desktop, let go of the Windows key and tab, and you'll be at back at the desktop. So that was it, guys, and thanks for watching. I hope you know and have learned the basics of, the, of Windows 8. And I hope, yeah, just good luck. And see you next time in one of my other bits.